Welcome to our little corner of YouTube. We are Gary and Em and we like to travel around in our camper van snib. In this episode we head over to the Black Isle to a little place called Rosemarkey where we have a campsite booked for the night. We're hoping that we're going to be able to see the dolphins at Channery Point. We have tried over the past 20 odd years to see the dolphins at Channery Point and we've never had any success with it. Often standing there in the freezing cold and the icy wind and coming away feeling disappointed and disheartened. Now the weather's got even worse. It's not looking good for this, babe. <laughs> do you think the dolphins know you're coming? Do they, do they still come in in the rain? No, they don't like getting wet, do they? <laughs> I'm not that stupid. <laughs> we have tried before to park at Channery Point in the camper van and it can be a little bit tricky. It gets really busy and the spaces are quite tight. So for tonight we've booked a campsite and we've booked the Fortrose Bay campsite in Fortrose and it's about 15-20 minute walk to Channery Point itself which isn't too bad at all. The buses have got their work cut out around here with the narrow roads, parked cars and buildings on either side. Ah, next right. Next right. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. You've got two campsites, I think. One of them is the Camping and Caravan Club site one. We've driven here before in the winter. We have, yes, and it was closed. That's right, it was closed. Welcome, please check in before pitching. We'll using up out the fridge tea. So we've got some chips that are in the air fryer, cheese and onion, um, sandwich filler on balm cakes that went off yesterday. So that is dinner tonight. There's only one dryer and one washing machine on this site and um, there was a bit of a queue. <laughs> For both of them so when I went up to collect the drying earlier I felt a bit bad for taking up the tumble dryer again because the lady was waiting to use it so I took my stuff out thinking oh that's dry enough but when I got it back to the van some of it wasn't dry it was quite damp so he's just going to put it back in the dryer for another 20 minutes it looks like I drew the short straw to do the dishes again is that your grumpy face Make a grumpy oh yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. That's fine. Just make sure it's done properly. That's all. On our way to see the dolphins, fingers crossed. It's about half eight at night. Weather's unpredictable, hence the cap. So I haven't got my microphones on because it's raining on and off, and I don't want to destroy them. This is part of the campsite. It's a mixture of tents, motorhomes, caravans. This is a public road that just runs through the campsite really. This is the other part of the campsite. Again it's just the same grass pitches and hard stands and gravelly pitches. It's a nice view it's just we don't have the best weather. There is a laundress here and dishwashing. The laundrette is just a basic um, domestic washing machine and tumble dryer and there is only one of them. There's two sets of toilets one at reception and one here, this building here, there is showers here, you can buy Wi-Fi extra, I think it's £3 a day. It's very close to Channery Point which is why we've, we've plumped to come here to be honest because you can never park there. You can go to the golf club restaurant, the end of the campsite just here and your walk to Channery Point is here. So you have to walk through the golf course. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Make him stop. He's doing me head in. We might be too early for these dolphins, but you know, I'm keen to get there. I think this 15 minute walk's a bit of a lie, to be honest with you. <laughs> it feels like it feels like three miles. And it looks like everyone else is making the way down now as well, so. Hopefully we've got the timings right. 
But here is the car park if you do come down in your van and manage to get a space. It looks like a motorhome has managed to do that. But there is a bit of the car park that does have a height barrier. I understand why they do it, but sometimes it doesn't feel very fair, does it? And it's a two metre height barrier. But there is this little area here, but to be fair, it's tight. It really is tight. It's a no drone area. We arrive on the beach and there's already lots of people waiting to see the dolphins. It was a really nice atmosphere, everybody full of uh, anticipation and just waiting for that uh, first glimmer. Possibly got a sight in. What's the saying? <laughs> Don't poke the bear. Well, that's exactly <laughs> what these two little doggies have been doing to this big German shepherd. It soon gave chase and showed them who's boss. They turned the tables on it and decided to give chase back and um, with a good telling off for good measure. <laughs> well, it's quarter to ten at night now and we still haven't seen the dolphins. We have, Well, we have. We've seen a little bit of one. <laughs> We've seen a little bit of one, um, but it was quite far out. But no, nothing yet. Just a few seals and a few false alarms. Backy. And it's absolutely freezing cold for July. I'm so glad I brought my coat and my hat. We're actually just calling the dolphins bluff. We've walked away from the shoreline as if we're going in the hope that they'll come out But I don't think it's gonna happen. We're absolutely freezing and a lot of other people have give up now as well It's, it's a swizz. Ask it's, for your money back if you go to the campsite. It's really hard to walk away knowing that you've just spent <laughs> 30 quid on a campsite to come dolphin watching and you, get, you don't get to see them <laughs> But I think enough is enough. Um, the clouds are looking like proper moody and um, my knee's hurting. I'm quite upset because we didn't get to see them. And yeah, I just don't think it's ever gonna happen at Channery Point for me. So I've told Gary he can scatter my ashes here in the hope that I'll be able to see them at least when I'm dead. This is Emma from Fans of the Memories. Reporting from Channery Point, where the dolphins don't like to come out to play. We got up early and headed to the beach, firstly checking for the high tide times. This information is easy to find either online or through the campsite itself. Oh gosh, did you see that? Wow! Yeah? long before we spotted some splashing in the distance. At this point I was very excited having waited so long oh, to see this okay. and hoping and praying that they came in a little bit closer okay, so I could get a proper glimpse of them. If only I was brave enough to go kayaking like these two. It's just about half ten in the morning now. We have had a bit of success, but not that close. Not as close as I would have liked. There's some professional photographers here with massive cameras. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are still here. They're just uh, miles away. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, my lovely. 
I try my hands at a bit of dolphin calling. Oh, it's raining now. Oh my god, did you see how close that was? I think my dolphin caller must have done the trick. So we can... Clouds were on edge and delighted to see the spectre of the dolphins. They got closer and closer and it wasn't long before they started doing some proper little tricks for us. As the dolphins got closer and closer to the shore, they put on a really good show for us. After a most enjoyable morning watching the dolphins, we headed back to the campsite, passing the car park that we seen on the way in. And this is one of the reasons why we won't come down here in the van. As you can see, it's exceptionally busy with cars and vans trying to park and tempers were becoming frayed. How amazing was that? I don't know what footage we got, but we had an absolute amazing time with the dolphins. Honestly, it was worth the 30 quid for this campsite for that. It was wonderful. Can't stop smiling. But with, it's five past 12 and we're late getting off the, the, the swift, the pitch. But wow, wasn't that incredible? Superb. Well worth it. Wow, amazing. I'll leave you with a few more videos <laughs> taken on the mobile phone. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed then please do hit that button as well. It really helps a small channel like ours grow and we'll see you next time.